Hi, welcome to the Eastern Township School Board series of videos. In this module, we're going to explore how to navigate the web and searching. If you're wondering, the internet and the web are synonymous, they're interchangeable. When I talk about one or the other, I mean the same thing. So let's look at how we can navigate and search. I'm using Google Chrome right now. If you're wondering what browser to use, you can refer to the previous module all about browsers. So in Google Chrome, as is the case with all the browser, you have two areas. You've got your address bar up here at the, type, at the top, sorry, where you can type a URL. Then you've got your search bar here where you can search. I see a lot of people putting an address here, for example, Moodle ETSB, to find a website, then clicking on it, and then going to the website. If you know the address of a website, all you have to do is type it in the address bar at the top. If you've previously typed it, just by doing the first few letter, it will actually autocomplete it for you or give you suggestions. So if I type the correct address and I press enter, I go straight to it. This is a one click move, as we say, as opposed to a two click move. So this is an address bar. That is where you type the URL or address of a website. If you're searching for something, then you're better off using this. You can also use the top here, or you can use that. Alternatively, you can copy and paste as well. If you have a URL copied, you can just paste it, press enter, and it'll go there. Now, Google is smart enough, Google Chrome, that if you put a URL in the search field, it will go straight to the website. So let me go back in here. Now, a search engine like Google is extremely powerful. This is the first time in modern history, in all of human history, that we have humanity's knowledge at our fingertip. If you're lucky enough to live in a country that allows you internet search, uh, not all countries are so lucky. If you live in China, for example, you're extremely limited in what you can search. So if you live in a lot of the parts of the world where you have free access to the internet, this is something that is unprecedented in human history, the ability to search humanity's knowledge at your fingertip. If you think about that, that is phenomenal. Now, if you're looking for something in here, let's say how to, this is based on quite a few things. First of all, it's based on the area you live in, uh, based on the recent and most popular searches, for example, here, how to take a screenshot, how to plant garlic, how to screenshot on a Mac. It knows I'm on a Macintosh, so it's going to offer me a Mac. How to cook quinoa. So on, get away with murder, apparently. Um, so it will auto-complete. So when you do a search, always look down a little bit to see how it completes your search. So if I want to know how to take a screenshot, I can click on it, and it will let me know how to take a screenshot. Now let's do a search on something that's very ubiquitous on the internet, cats. So I'm going to click, press enter, and I'm going to get results for cats. First of all, it gives me images for cats. It also tells me the amount of results that it found, as well as how long it took. I also have, for example, here a movie. I'll have songs about this. I'll have videos and so on and so forth. Now, there are quite a few tabs. When you do a search, you can search for everything. You can search for specifically images. You can search for videos. You can search for news. Uh, you can even do shopping and so on and so forth. So these tabs are very important. You can also look for maps. Now, I'm going to go back here. When you're browsing, you can always go back and forth using these arrows here. These will let you navigate and go back and forth. Here's a little tip. If you click and hold this, this will give you a menu of your previous. So if you want to go all the way to the first one, you click here and that will go back. If you want to go forward, click that and you'll eventually get back to where you were. So those back and forth arrow are very practical. And if you click and hold them, you get more. Now, let's say I want to do a search for images or cat. I want to refine my search. I can click on tools. Pretty much all the uh, search engines or browsers have a tools. If you click on tools, it will give you, for example, what's the size of the image you want? I want a large size because I want to use it for a presentation. So these are big images. Color, I can specify a specific color. I can have a type of image, a time, and even usage right. If you can use it, 
commercially or other license or creative common license for use in a school project for example so that lets you look for something that has a little bit more detail than just cats same thing for videos if you look at videos you might want to go to tools and you might say well i want in the past 24 hours what, what kind of videos have do we have available for the past duration that are at least 4 to 20 minute long so you can also say quality i want high quality videos so all the different tabs have different tools that are specific to that field for example if i click on news about cats i can look for the past 24 hours or say the past year and i can sort by relevance or by date so on and so forth so doing a search for the complete knowledge of humanity and I search for cats but <laughs> you can search for anything you want in here and again you can refine your search by looking for the different tools that will help you uh, most browsers now they, they even have a search for a voice um, as far as searching is concerned you've got two major search engine you've got Google which is integrated of course in Google Chrome and you also have Bing which is a Microsoft equivalent and Bing Bing has different ways of, of showing you results. So you can go to Bing and you can search, for example, for images in here. This lets you very quickly search using an image. So if you want to use a certain image of a flower and look for those specific types of flowers, it's going to find things based on that image. That is integrated at top level. It's also available in Chrome, but it's not at the top level. So that's how to you navigate the web by using an address up here or doing a search down here.